My name is Anna Devane. I began my career as a double agent for the DVX. My specialty was setting and diffusing explosives. I was working for the World Security Bureau when I met my future husband, Robert Scorpio. Scorpio and I were married in Italy. Very happy for a while, until he discovered my duplicity and divorced me. I gave birth to his daughter, Robin, in secret, who I raised with a wonderful woman, Philomena Saltini. I was named Cochise of Police at Fort Charles, New York, where I met and married Duke Lavery. His involvement with the mob caused him to lose his life. You doctored the tape. Anna just explained everything. My wife's name is Alex. Is it? How can you be sure? Because I know her. Yes, you do. Even better than she knows herself, and that is why you're here. photo of me we're looking at, right? Or am I crazy? Alex, you're not crazy. This is a photo of somebody who looks a hell of a lot like you. Look, maybe this whole thing is fake. Maybe Anna's death is faked. If we're the same person, you know, once she had died, then I'd be able to get on with my life, right? Isn't that what they wanted? The people at Brentwood that called you Anna? Well, look, any, look anything's possible, okay? Uh, we... <laughs> There was a whole chapter of your life that you don't remember. What are you saying? I'm not... I couldn't possibly have done all of this during that time. I mean, look, she's led a full life. Okay, okay, let me just read it, all right? Port Charles Police Department, New York, two husbands. There's the girl, Robin, the child. I had a life in England. Parents that loved me. Medical school. You were at the house that I spent my summers in. And you read the note that I hid as a little girl. I hid that note. Yes, I know. I, I, I wrote it. Okay, okay, look, there's a logical explanation to this, okay? We just don't have all the pieces yet, that's all. I named your horse Scorpio. I mean, you can't tell me that that's a coincidence. Oh, my mind. My mind. It's a paddy cell. I'm bouncing off the walls. Alex, listen to me. I don't have the answers, okay? Look at me, Alex. All I know is you're not alone in this. Okay, look, Alex. Your mom was never the warm and fuzzy type, right? But she was the one constant in your life since you were a child, okay? Did she ever mention to you anything about you leaving, going to Port Charles, uh, becoming a police chief, no. having a child? No. no? I'm not Anna. Life seems so familiar to me, though. I don't know. But we're gonna find out. That is Alex. I recognize my own wife. Do you? You have a reading from a script. What did you do to her? 
Why would you assume that I did anything to her? Because Alex would never read any of that unless she had a gun to her head or that you had drugged her. You really have no idea, do you? About what? You were going to tell Alexandra everything you knew about Anna. Who is Anna? You're completely in the dark. I'm done with Mr. Merrick. Take him away. She wanted me, uh, you know, I thought we wanted to, uh, you know, make a deal, have me join the team. You never had any notion of doing that. So you've kept me here all this time to find out what I know. Which turns out to be nothing, so uh, take him away. He's of no use to me anymore. Could have been an exceptional man. Hello? Mom? It's me. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm not good. Listen. Are you absolutely positive you never heard of a woman called Anna Devane? Yes. Why should I? Ask her directly. Um, just bear with me. I'm... I'm considering the possibility that... It's just a possibility that during my time at Brynwood that I could have been, I don't know, maybe I was being... trained as a spy. Alexandra, are you all right? Please answer me. Well, answer you? Answer you what? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, how could... How could someone like you possibly be a spy? I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Alexandra, it'll take me a few days, but I'm coming to Pine Valley. No, 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 that's not necessary. Yes, yes, yes it is. I'm asserting my rights as a mother. I'll call you with my flight number. Okay. I'm here, okay? Bye, darling. I've got a preliminary report. All right, let's hear it. Well, Alex is definitely a dead ringer. Fanny Devane. What about the obituary? There's a copy right there. It's an official government document. Could somebody have faked these? I had them verify with some sources. So she really is dead? Well, the body was never found. But she was also very much alive at one point. Then we're not the same person, right? Well, I know the documents are real. I don't know if they're true. How do we clear this up? Fingerprints. They never lie. Anna's prints are already on file. All we have to do now is compare them to yours. We should get on that ASAP. Yeah. I can stop by the police station tomorrow. Now, they don't print you unless you're being processed for a crime, but I could talk to Derek, call in a favor. Or you could talk to me. You can do it? Whenever I'm dealing with identity cases, I always come prepared. I can set the equipment up right now if you'd like. Oh, just a minute. Um... Alex, this is our best shot at the truth. This is what we're waiting for. Okay. I have some messages from the office I gotta return. Oh, my goodness. You've been spending so much time with me lately. I'm surprised you have a magazine left. Yeah, I do. A little one. Got a good co-editor. Listen, Adrian, good work. Thanks. I'll have the results back as soon as I can. Okay. I'll see you real soon. All right. Are you gonna run the prints yourself? I have a few friends that owe me. You didn't want me to go to the police station, did you? 
You don't trust me. I don't trust the situation that you're in. Do you think I could be her, Anna? We'll know soon enough. But I gotta tell you, I have a feeling about this. And the feel we used to call it having a third eye. Let you know when you should watch your back. Should I be doing that? Yeah, if you're smart. Good night, Alex.